Okay, so good morning everyone. Uh, good morning, 8 Garnet. Okay, 8 Garnet. So, musang araw? Are you ready for our discussion for today? Janel? Yes, pa. Okay, so may I request to open your cameras, all of you? Yes, it Garnet, yes. Okay, so now that you open your cameras already, okay, let us start. So let us start with a prayer first to be led by Aryan Soliba. Others, please kindly open your cameras. Yes, Aryan, are you there? Yes, po, sir. Okay, let us start. Yes, po, sir. Dear Lord and Father Dear of Lord. all, thank you for and today. Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for ways in which you provide for us with all for your protection and love. We thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, so next, uh, we have the recapitulation to be given by Jamaica Zonio. Jamaica, take it away. Uh, last meeting, Paul, we discussed about earthquakes and how earthquakes are being generated. We also deal about the devastating effect of an earthquake, as well as the different areas in the Philippines that are earthquake prone. We also tackle how tsunamis are generated and its devastating effect. Okay, very good. A very comprehensive re recap of our topic that we have discussed last meeting. Thank you, Jamaica. Okay, how about the code for the day? Tresha Diaz. Our code for the day is, if you can do great things, do small things in a great way. This means that do not be discouraged if you don't accomplish your goal at first. Start by doing small steps that can lead you towards your major goal. Okay, thank you, Nak. That is a very inspiring quote for the day. So again, uh, just focus on your goal, okay? Everything will be given to you in the right time. Okay? So, again, good morning, Ape Garnett. Uh, we were going to start our topic for this session. Okay? So, to start, uh, before we proceed with our uh, topic discussion, so let us have our attendance first for Group 1. Uh, representative uh, Jasmine, are you there? How many are present in your group today? Three, four. Okay, very good. How about the group two, Earl? Earl Ibora? You there, Nak? Complete po kami, sir. Okay, very good. Complete. So, siguro, uh, I'm waiting for the group one. May absent, ano? So, we'll be um, waiting for their uh, excuse letter. Okay? So, group three. Princess, Taranto. For this session today, the group three is complete. Okay, very good. So group two and group three are complete. Anyway, uh, for group one, only one absent lang naman. Okay, so let us start. Okay, let us have this particular activity first before we proceed with our learning objectives. Okay, are you familiar with this uh, game? Guess the word, Earl. Okay, so Earl, di naka-open ang mic. Okay, sige. Uh, and uh, I'm still waiting for ad the others to open their cameras, okay? So kindly, please open your cameras para ma-recognize ko kayo. 
Eh, makita ko naman yung kagwapuhan ninyo. Okay. So, guess the word first. Do we have two pictures in here? Then you are going to guess what particular word does the, these pictures represent. Okay? First picture. You familiar with this person? The one who uh, made famous of the Gangnam Style Dance. Sino ba yan? Okay. Yes, someone is uh, answering. Yes, princess. Princess. Sai, sir. Sai. So she says Sai. How about this one? How about this one? Okay. Ebora. Clown, po, sir. Clown. So when you. Okay. How about? Pag pinagdugtong mo, yung name nila. Yes, Janelle. Cyclone po. Cyclone? Cy, cyclone. Okay, very good. Okay, so the word is cyclone. How about this, another one? Okay, what? Are you familiar with this picture? Yes, Rosette. Candy cane po. Candy cane. Okay, candy cane. Another one. Wow, favorite ko to. Sino to? Yes, star nate. Harry Potter po. Harry Potter. Oh, if you are going to uh, form a word with these two particular picture, okay, ano kayo mapo-form mo? Yes, Sonia. Hurricane. Hurricane. Okay, yun so talagang nagano kayo nung no that's hurricane or hurricane. Okay, so Harry from from Harry Potter and the cane, hurricane. Okay, medyo ano lang, malayo lang yung spelling. But anyway, uh, at least you got the word. Okay, last one. I think this is the last one. How about this one? Yes, tie natin again. Tie. Tie. So that's a tie. The second picture is what? Yes, sahor. Pwn po. A pwn. Okay, if you are going to... Uh, final word for these two particular picture. What is what is the word? What is the word? Yes, Dimayo. Typhoon, sir. Tie as well as phone. Okay, that's typhoon. Okay, very good. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so at least you have uh, guessed the word, the three words, although uh, hindi sila ka spelling, but at least karime sila, okay? So, ah, may last one pa. Okay, last one. How about this one? Yes, Diaz. Thank you. So, what? Here. So, here. Second. Okay, this is for breakfast. Janil. Ah, sumagaysay. Sorry, sumagaysay. Wheat pa. Wheat? So, if you are going to combine the words... What word can you form for this particular two pictures? Na. Yes. Uh, De La Cruz. Your hand. What na again? Brother. We, brother? Is it brother? Brother. Okay, weather. that's weather. Okay, that's wheat as well as the deer. Okay, weather. Okay, very good. So at least, uh, again, you get the word correctly. Okay, so for the word. Okay, so anong ba ang magiging topic natin for this particular session? So, so as you can see in your slide, okay, we are going to understand or understanding typhoon for this particular session. What are our objectives? First, explain how a typhoon develops and how it is affected by land masses and bodies of water. Okay, that's the first objective for today. Second, identify the different tropical cyclone categories. Then number four, you, of course, you are going to trace the parts. So I have mentioned the last session that you are going to uh, present to me a material that you are going to use for this particular session. Do you have your materials with you, Emmanuel? 
Manuel? Yes, good, sir. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm expecting others also have their materials for today. So number five, explain what is meant when a typhoon has entered the Philippine area of responsibility. Then number six, the last objectives will be we are going to trace the path of typhoons that enter the Philippine area of responsibility using a map and a tracking data. Okay, so introduction, let us start with this. Okay, uh, uh, just a while ago, uh, in our motivational uh, introductory uh, part, you have guess word, okay, uh, on those particular picture. So you have guess weather, typhoon. So what are those words? Are you familiar with those words? Trisha? Ah, si Trisha. Do you have microphone again na problem? Ayan, si Trisha. Okay, so, yes, Nak. So, are you familiar with those words? Weather, typhoon, uh, ano pa ba yung naano natin kanina? So, are those what? Those words are what? Pertains to what, Nak? How about you, ano? Uh, how about you, Rosette. About po sa mga typhoon po. Okay, the answer is already in your screen. Weather po. Okay, very good. Okay, Rosette, it deals about the weather. Okay, so what is weather? What is weather disturbance in particular? Okay, so a weather disturbance is a general term Okay, that describes any pulse of energy moving through the atmosphere. Okay, just like the physics topic that we have discussed during our first quarter, it always deals or it deals with energy. Okay, so energy when when some some something is moving, it always deals with energy. Okay, so for our activity number one. Okay, so typhoon. You're familiar with typhoon, right? Uh, sumagaysay? Yes po, sir. Okay. So in layman's term, in Tagalog, we call typhoon as what? Nandiyan na rin. That's what? Uh, Diaz? Bagyo. Oh, bagyo. Okay, bagyo. May bagyo ba, Nak? Okay, so far, wala pa. Okay, in, 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 our recent, uh, in the recent days. Ano? But... If you are to describe typhoon in one word, can you give me a description of typhoon in one word? Yes, sumagaysay. Distraction po. Distraction, very good. So typhoon can cause destruction. How about you, Soliba? Wind po. Wind, okay. Typhoons usually generate a strong wind. How about the Mayo? Destruction. Destructive, okay, so it can cause a lot of disruption, okay. Uh, de la Cruz, storm, storm, okay, so storm normally, uh, when, when a typhoon hits a particular area, so it generated a lot of stormy weather, okay. How about you, Caranto? Tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclone. So, uh, it really deals with how typhoon is formed, ano? In a particular area. Yes, sir, natin, last? Rain po. Come again, na? Rain. Rain. Okay, very good. So, generally, uh, typhoon generates a lot of rain. Kaya nga, minsan, di ba, bumabaha. Uh, during our face-to-face -face class, typhoon. Malamang excited kayo kasi laging walang klase. <laughs> it interrupted classes. Okay, during our face-to-face -face class. Uh, in our current setting, kahit pa paano hindi nagaano. Ano. But anyway, uh, again, we are just still praying na we, we were going to have a face-to-face -face class hopefully by next year. Okay? But if you are enjoying this particular situation, 
then good for you. Okay? Okay, so that's, I, I guess you have a described typhoon well in this particular activity. So I guess you have uh, generated a lot of knowledge during your grade 7 with regards to uh, weather disturbances. Okay, let us proceed. Okay, so what is a tropical cyclone? What is a tropical cyclone? Okay, it is also called typhoon or bagyo in our country. Okay, an intense circular storm that originates over warm tropical ocean and is characterized by low atmospheric pressure, okay, high winds and heavy rain as what you have described typhoon earlier in the activity. Okay, so is tropical cyclone different from typhoon, hurricane, and cyclone? Okay, is it yes or no, Zyrene? No, po. No? Okay, how about any other answer? Uh, princess, is it no or yes? Are they different? No, I like sir. your background, Zyrene. I like your background. So, uh, kiddy I don't know, style. Okay, how about your princess? Is it yes or no? Sirene answered no. So it means they are the same. How about you, princess? Is it no or yes? No, sir. Or no. So you all agreed, or you're, you two agreed that cyclone, typhoon, hurricane are the same, right? So the term tropical cyclone, actually the, the answer is already on your slide. Of course, it's a no. The term tropical cyclone is only used to describe a weather disturbance that is formed in tropical regions or the near the equator. So it means the Philippines on this particular weather disturbance, we call it typhoon or tropical cyclone. Okay, so what about on the other part of the ocean? Are you familiar with the biggest oceans in the in the world? Ah, uh, uh, napag-aralan yun ba sa AP to, Janil? The biggest oceans or the oceans of the world? Alpha. Yes. Can you describe one? I sorry. Can you describe one? Or can you can you give me one? Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic po. Ocean. Okay. Very good. How about you, Sahor? Pacific Ocean. Pacific po. Ocean. Yes. Uh, Zonio. Zonio, you there, Nak? Okay. My problem is Zonio about the. Uh, yes, Diaz. You're raising your hand. Antarctic Ocean. Antarctic po. Ocean. Okay. How about other ocean again? De Mayo? Indian Ocean, sir. Indian Ocean. Okay, other ocean? Any more answer? Yes, umagaysay. Arctic Ocean po. Arctic Ocean? Okay. So, other hand, yes? Ibora? South Atlantic Ocean po. South Atlantic Ocean. Okay, you have mentioned a lot of ocean. Okay, so let us see if you have mentioned this particular ocean as your answer. Okay. These are the biggest ocean in the world. Okay. There are smaller uh, uh, smaller part or the region of an ocean. We called it sea. Okay. So it does not mention here. Uh, we the, the, the five biggest ocean will be this one. The Arctic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean, is, it is in the uh, part of, of course, in it's in the Arctic region, okay? So, on top of Russia, Greenland, then the Atlantic Ocean that covers up part of South America, uh, US of A, the African region, okay, as well as Europe. And we have the Antarctic Ocean that you have mentioned, of course. Uh, it uh, covers the Antarctic region of the world in the Indian Ocean, Okay. And the biggest of them all is the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so generally, okay, generally, uh, there in this particular region of the ocean, okay, there are different terms of weather disturbances. Okay, in the Pacific Ocean, 
Okay, when it tie when a weather disturbance is formed, we call it okay typhoon. Okay, so typhoon. So to define, it is an intense circular storm that originates over tropical oceans. It is characterized by low atmospheric pressure, high winds, as well as heavy rain. Okay, take note that majority of the world's typhoon came from this particular part of the world, the Pacific Ocean. So, okay, the term typhoon is used only in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean, including the Philippines. Kaya nga ang tawag natin dyan ay typhoon or bagyo. Okay, how about on the uh, other part of the world? For example, Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so the Atlantic Ocean, we called it hurricane. Okay, so take note of the word hurricane. Okay, the term hurricane, okay, uh, others uh, read it as hurricane. Anyway, uh, wala problema doon. And the term hurricane is used only in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, kung may na, napapanood na kayong movies about uh, uh, weather disturbances sa U.S., okay, they call it hurricane. Okay, that's hurricane. That's in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, how about, okay, how about in this particular region, Indian Ocean? Did you see my slide, Emmanuel? Yes, both, sir. Okay, so Indian Ocean, they have also other term for that. They called it cyclone. Okay, the term cyclone is used only in the part of the Indian Ocean. Cyclone. Okay, next. How about in the Australian region? Okay, so Australian region, we be called it Willy Willy. Okay, not Willy Willy na namimigay ng jacket, ah. That's Willy. Okay, in Australia, they call it Willy Willy. Okay, so. Ayan. Okay, so cyclone, we have four major terms. Of weather disturbances in the world cyclone typhoon or cyclone that is um being uh, originated in the indian ocean typhoon for the pacific ocean hurricane in the atlantic ocean and willy willy in the uh australian region of the world nakukuha ba yes sir. yes Daniel. Okay, any question for this particular topic na? Okay, question. Okay, what do you call the weather disturbances form in the Atlantic Ocean? Sonia? Okay, very good. That's hurricane. Yes, Ibora, how about in the Indian Ocean? Ibora? Okay, very good. At least, nakikinig tayo. Okay, next topic. Why Philippines is prone to typhoon? Again, as what I have mentioned earlier, majority of the world's typhoon have been formed in the Pacific Ocean. Are we in the... Uh, uh, are we situated in this particular uh, ocean, Pacific Ocean? Jamaica. Is the Philippines uh, situated? Us? Yes, Oliva. The is Philippines it... is prone to tropical cyclones or typhoon due to its geographical location, which generally produce heavy rains and flooding of large areas. Okay, very good. Now you have defined it already. A very comprehensive definition of why Philippines is prone to typhoon. Okay, back it ba? Okay. okay, as you can see in this slide, okay, as you can see in the slide, okay, that's the world, the globe. Okay, if you can see, as what I have mentioned earlier, the Philippines is situated far east uh, on this Pacific Ocean, the biggest and the largest ocean in the world that is also inside the equator. Okay, the equator 
uh, is the region where oceans generally, ah, sorry, the typhoons generally form, okay, in particular, okay, because typhoons need to be, to be, uh, to have a warm weather in order to be formed, okay. So these are the formation of uh, the condition in order for a typhoon to be formed. First is the evaporation of surface water. Specifically, it needs at least, take note of the temperature, at least 26.5 degrees Celsius. So this particular temperature can only be uh, attained in a region, uh, the Hata region. Okay, specifically in the equator area of the world, 26.5 degrees Celsius. Next is high humidity in lower to middle part of troposphere. Are you familiar with the part of the atmosphere? Are you familiar with the word troposphere? During your grade 7? Yes, Paul. Okay, very good. Okay, so second, troposphere is usually the region of the atmosphere where uh, weather disturbances form, okay? So third is the atmospheric instability. When we say atmospheric instability, it is the tendency of the atmosphere to change, uh, change its course, okay? So number four, enough spin from Coriolis effect to develop low pressure center. When we say Coriolis effect, okay, are you familiar with uh, a typhoon, right? Okay, nakikita nyo kapag uh, uh, nire-report to ni Mang Tani as well as ni uh, Kuya Kim, right? Nanonood kayong balita, Earl? Opo. Okay, so if you are familiar with the typhoon, if you are going to look at your slide, the typhoon... Um, is moving or the formation is usually moves inward. When you say inward, okay, there are or there is a center, right? There's a center. Oh, na, Aryan. Okay, there's a center part of the typhoon. Uh, in our next topic, we are going to dissect the typhoon, the part of the typhoon. Okay, we call it the eye actually. Okay, so that's the Coriolis effect. Okay, it's the center or the region of a typhoon where uh, spin happened. Uh, in order for a typhoon to generate uh, atmospheric pressure. Okay, next. Next, next, next. Okay, ito yon. Rising water vapor, it needs heat energy. Okay, it should have it should have humidity and okay, unbalance. Okay. Change in the condition of temperature. Okay, tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclone. Okay, tropical cyclone generally has in order for it to be, uh, be measured. It should have strong winds. Determines the intensity of a tropical cyclone. It is measured on a scale based on its greatest sustained wind speed found within it. Okay? If you are familiar with uh, how Kuya Kim and Mangtani reported typhoon or uh, in the news, okay? So generally, nagme-mention sila about 250 kilometers per hour. 300 kilometers per hour, okay? So, you're familiar with that, right? You are familiar with that, Cruz? Yes, sir. Okay, so that's how typhoon is measured. It is measured on uh, the intensity of the wind it has or it generated. Okay, that is why we, the pag-asa, okay, so gives this particular category of a typhoon or tropical cyclone okay if it has a maximum wind speed of 64 kilometers per hour it will be called tropical depression okay kuya napapansin nyo iba-iba ang term ni kuya Kim and Mengtani dyan ano 
uh, it's either tropical depression, tropical storm, typhoon, or super typhoon. Okay, so when we say tropical storm, it should have 65 to 118 kilometers per hour maximum wind speed. Okay, when we say typhoon, okay, categorized typhoon will have 119 to 200 kilometers per hour of wind speed. Okay, you're familiar with super typhoon. Okay, super typhoon should have greater than 200 kilometers per hour wind speed. Okay, so of course, uh, super typhoon has a devastating effect. Okay, if you are familiar with typhoon Yolanda, way back 2000 and, 2009 or ano, 2003. Okay, so very devastating effect yung it kills thousands of lives. Okay, so that's typhoon Yolanda. Okay, so okay review of what you have learned during your grade seven okay weather instruments you familiar with this one are you familiar with this particular weather instruments uh sumagaysay sumagaysay wind vane lang ah wind vane so you per, per you already have discussed this particular instrument during your grade seven right caranto Yes, sir. Okay, so at least. Okay, so again, I'm re requesting the others to open your cameras. Okay, we have this one, hygrometer. Will you read hygrometer, Emmanuel? Hydrometer measures the water vapor content of air or the humidity. High humidity indicates warmer temperatures, while low humidity indicates cooler temperatures. Okay, very good, Anak. So take note of the word hygro, you water vapor. Hygro, water vapor. Okay, how about barometer? Can you read, Princess? Barometer measures air pressure it tells us whether or not the pressure is rising or falling a rising barometer means sunny and dry condition while a falling falling barometer means stormy and wet condition okay very good so barometer okay you just have to take note of the word air pressure barometer okay air pre pressure okay ring gauge how about ring gauge can you read ring gauge uh suliba a rain gauge measures the amount of rain that has fallen over a specific time period. Okay. It's a rain gauge, the amount of rain. Okay, take note of the amount of rain over a specific time period. Okay, so uh, are you familiar with this one? Okay, pagka nire-report to indicates that uh, Marikina Basin uh, or the Montalban Basin uh, has this particular amount of rain, 33 meters, uh, 33 millimeters per hour. Diba? May mga ganun na report during news. Okay? So, that's uh, how Pag-asa or the DOST reported the amount of rain. It used rain gauge. Okay, thermometer. Can you read? Tarnate. Measures air temperature. Okay, very good. Thermometer measures air temperature. Okay, next, next, animometer. Will you read Rosette? Animometer measure wind speed. The cup okay. catch the wind turning a dial attached to the instrument. The dial shows the wind speed. Wind speed can be estimated without special tools by observation okay animometer you just have to take note of the word wind speed okay it measures wind speed okay meron siyang mga cups okay to determine the speed of the wind in a particular area the last one will you read uh karanto A wind vane is used to measure wind direction. It spirits on a road and 
points in the direction from which the wind comes. Okay, wind vane. When you say wind vane, wind direction. Okay, that's the wind direction. Okay, so I guess you are familiar with this particular weather instruments. Okay, so for the activity three, okay, kindly match column A with column B. Okay, the use of this particular. If you know the answer, you can raise your hand. Okay, okay. You can raise your how about rain gauge? What does it measure? Rain gauge? Rain gauge. Nakalimutan agad. Okay, nakalimutan ba? Okay. Uh, Sahor, you're raising your hand. D po. B. Is it B or D? D po. D. What amount is that? Amount of now? rain po. Okay, amount of rain, amount of rain. Very good. That's the amount of rain. Barometer? Yes. Trish. De La Cruz. Barometer. E po. E. What's the answer na? E. Air pressure po. A? Ah, sorry. E. e. Sorry, E. Say air pressure. Is it air pressure? Okay, very good. That's air pressure. Okay. So, how about hygrometer, Di Mayo? Letter B po. Humidity. Letter B. Humidity. Is it humidity? Very good. That's humidity. Okay. Wind bane. Yes, wind bane. Ibora. Wind direction po. Wind bane. Wind direction. Is it wind direction? Okay. That's wind direction. Okay. Uh, second to the last. Animometer. Animometer. So, magaysay. C po. Wind speed. C? Wind speed. Okay, that's wind speed. Okay, last thermometer. Uh, Suliba. A po, air temperature. Okay, very good. That's air temperature. Okay. So, I guess you are now familiar with the different instrument used. Okay. So, different instrument used in, uh, in a weather system or any weather disturbances. Meron man. Anyway, in a weather in particular. Okay? So, palakpakan nyo naman yung mga sarili ninyo. Okay? Can we give in, we call it online clap. <laughs> Can we give an online clap to everyone? Okay, very good. Familiar na ba? Tayo nate? Nate. Wala na si Tayo nate. Anyway, Zonio, you familiar with, already with this particular instrument? Yes, sir. Okay, Janil. Yes, po. Okay, very good. Okay, pro to proceed. Okay, to proceed. In which, if you're familiar, which government agency is responsible in monitoring weather forecast? You're familiar with the agency that um responsible for a weather forecasting? Is it, ano? Is it GMA? Is, is it EBS-CBN? Is it TV5? Ibora? Pag-asa po. Okay, very good. That's pag-asa. Okay? So, okay. Someone has answered me before. Sir, the agency is GMA. A GMA is, is a new station. A new station as is the one who, are, who is responsible in broadcasting it all throughout the country. But the agency who is responsible in monitoring weather forecast is actually the pag-asa. Pag-asa... It was founded in 1865. So, napakatanda na. Pag-asa is actually an acronym for Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. Will you read it again? Uh, Suliba. Ano nga meaning ng pag-asa? Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. Okay, very good. That's pag-asa for you. So what is its main responsibility? Okay, an agency of the Philippines mandated to provide protection against natural calamities and to ensure the safety, well-being, and economic security of all the people. Take note of the word protection to natural calamities. It is because definitely as what you have mentioned on your answer in describing Typhoon earlier in the discussion, you have mentioned 
typhoon has devastating effect, destruction, uh, amount of rain. So definitely, it will hinder uh, safety and as well as economic security of the people. Diba? Huwag napapansin mo, typhoon, baha. And sa news, makikita ninyo na uh, binaha ang palayan, binaha ang ganito. Of course, this economic security. That's the general responsibility of pag-asa. Okay? Get it right, Sonia? Okay. Okay, next. Okay, let us describe PAR. What is PAR? Okay, actually, uh, are you familiar with PAR? Okay? Lagi itong uh, dinidescribe ni Mang Tani in his report. Okay, PAR is actually an acronym of the Philippine Area of Responsibility. So the Philippine Area of Responsibility is an area in the Northwestern Pacific where Pag-asa monitors weather occurrences, significant weather disturbances, specifically tropical cyclones that enter or develop in the PAR, okay, that are given Philippine-specific names okay so you are familiar with international name of the typhoon we called it tui okay but once it enters the par once it enters the par okay it will be given a philippine name okay others okay uh diba minsan from a auring okay b uh, becha mga ganon ano that's the that's the term of the typhoon given when it enters the par Okay, if you are not familiar with PAR, you are now going to uh, create a PAR of your own. Do you have your materials with you? Pwede ko bang makita? Okay. Kaya pinagdala ko kayo ng materials. Yes, can, can, can you... Uh, yes, very good, Ariane. How about the others? Okay, can I see it on the cameras? How about materials? Okay, I have... I've mentioned during our last meeting that you are going to print this particular, okay, a map of the Philippines in order for you to perform this particular activity. Yes, others, Aryan. Okay, nakikita ko na. Others, yes, let me see. Let me see. Okay, meron na ba? Meron pa? Okay, yes, Jamaica. Yes, at least you have... Okay, so very good, very good. Please, nakinig kayo dun sa sinabi ko to bring this particular materials. Okay, let us proceed. All of you already has the materials. Okay, so let us proceed. So, in order for us to trace the part, okay, in order for you to be able to trace the part, just wait. I'm just fixing my PowerPoint. In order for you to trace the PAR, okay, so we, okay, let us familiar first with the following coordinates. Are you familiar with the latitude? Sang subject ba ito tinuturo? Latitude. AP. AP. The Araling Panlipunan. Okay, latitude. So, lat, can you read na? What is latitude? Because this particular term will be of help in order for you to trace the par. Okay, yes, you're raising your hand, Soliba. Latitude is a measurement on a globe or map of location north or south of the equator. Okay, north or south. So that's latitude, north or south, okay? So latitude is actually, if you, are, uh, if, you are be, if, you can, if you can be able to see the GIF, ano dyan, globe, okay? The latitude, uh, north to south, uh, take note of the word north to south, the uh, upper, okay, uh, line of the globe, okay? How about next one? Longitude. Yes, Sirene. Can you read it now? Longitude. Longitude is the measurement east or west of the prime meridian. Longitude is measured by imaginary lines 
that run around the earth vertically up and down and meet at the north and south poles okay very good so the vertical line is the longitude kanina latitude is the uh, e, uh the east and the west okay oh sorry someone is calling okay okay so that's it okay so vertical line okay the north and the south okay if you are going to uh, uh see it it is also like the one uh topic that you have in math it is like the x and y axis the cartesian plane right Meron na ba yes. kayo ng oh. okay, Cartesian coordinates? Yes, that's the x and y axis. So in order for you to be able to uh, trace the 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 par, okay, you will be given okay the point of latitude and longitude. Okay, so you are going to plot the given points on the map. Connect the plotted points. The region within is the Philippine area of responsibility or the PAR. Okay, so you have point A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay, you have there the latitude and the longitude. Just like uh, what you do in your mathematics subject, okay, you just have to meet the the x and y coordinates okay are you familiar with that right arian yes po okay so i will be giving you five minutes i know mabilis lang naman to just three minutes to uh, connect the plotted points then you are going to show it in your cameras okay if you have correctly plotted the following latitude and longitude in order to create the par okay your time starts now Five degrees north for point A, 115 degrees east for the longitude. Okay, for point B, 15 degrees north. Okay, do not be confused with the direction na, on the north and south. Meron pa bang hindi nakakaalam ng direction about north, east, west, south? Meron pa ba? Of course, wala na siguro. Okay, that's 15 degrees north. Okay, then 115 degrees east. For point C... The latitude is 21 degrees north. The longitude is 120 degrees east. Okay, for point D, the latitude is 25 degrees north. The longitude is 120 degrees east. The point E is the latitude is 25 degrees north. And the longitude is the 135 degrees east. The last one, the point F. The latitude is 5 degrees north. The longitude is 135 degree east. Okay. Much better if you are going to use colored uh, pencil or ball pen. Uh, para mas makita natin yung output nyo in creating the par. Okay. Done. I really like your background, Sirene. It reminds me of my childhood. Yes. Okay, others, kindly open your cameras to see how busy you are in answering this particular activity. In order for me to see that, Okay, Aryan is busy. You can raise your hand if you are done. You can raise your hand if you are done. Okay, the output of this particular activity will be used again on our next activity. It okay, will be used again. Okay, we have group activity after this one.
Is someone raising hand? Oh. Tapos na. Clarence and Diaz. Ready, done. Janelle is also done. Sirene is also done. Sahor is done. Taranto is done. Bora is done. Wow. Okay. Okay, done, done, Miranda. Okay, so madali lang, di ba? It's quite easy. Okay, as long as you have the knowledge in plotting latitude and longitude. Okay, can 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 you? Uh, can I see it on your cameras what you have uh, plotted? Aryan. Yes. Can I see it on the cameras on your cameras? Itingnan natin. Okay, very good. Okay, so compare. Okay, so if you are going to plant point A, wow, very good. Okay, I think you have made, okay, you have plotted the right uh, par for this particular activity. Okay, compare it with, uh, okay, so latitude for point A is 5 degrees north, 115. Okay, so, ayan. That's what I presented in the slide. You are going to place the dot, the points on those particular coordinates. A, then B, okay, C, okay, D, okay, E, okay, then F. Co connect nyo, huh? So, okay, very good. You have connected all the dotted points in order to create the par. Okay, you have connected. Ganito ba itura? Okay. So do you, did you arrive in this particular uh, plotted points? Did you arrive in this particular plotted yes, points? Yes, Paul. Okay, yes, very good. All of you got it correctly. Okay, so that's the par. Okay, that's the par. Anyway, before we proceed with the next activity, what is the use of the par? What is the use of the par? Why is pag-asa, okay, formulated this particular par or the Philippine area of responsibility? Did you know why? Did you know why, Aryan? Yes, Sirene. Para po makita kung sa atin po yung, sa bansa po natin yung bagyo. Sa bansa. So pag-aari na natin, parang ganon. So we owned it already. <laughs> okay. But anyway, thank you, Nat. That's a very good answer. How about other hand? Yes, Sahor. Rosette, you're raising your hand. Para po malaman yung... Ay, nasabi Para na malaman? Po, kung nasa labas po ng bansa yung bagyo or nasa loob po. Sa okay, po. you say in or outside the, the Philippines. Why is it so that we need to know uh, the, the importance of if ever typhoon is within the, the range of the Philippine area of responsibility? Ibora. Para po malaman yung kung kano po kabilis yung bagyo. Okay, very good. In order for us to determine the effect of a typhoon on our country. Okay, that's the very basic, uh, uh, that's a, the very basic uh, answer for that particular uh, question. Okay, so proceed tayo with activity five. You are going to trace whether the following track of typhoon, Jolina, is in or out of the park. Okay, using your par, okay? Leaders, as what I have mentioned, this is a group activity. You are going to create a Google Meet, okay? Can you send it to your GC by group? Then I will be giving you five minutes to plot this particular track, okay? Then you are going to present it after five minutes, 
Okay, by group. Okay, so choose representative of your group to present. Okay, uh, the track of your typhoon, if it is in or out of the PAR or the Philippine area of responsibility. Okay, so your five minutes starts now. Okay, you are going to use the PAR that you have created earlier. Huh? Okay, you are going to use the PAR that you have created earlier. Okay. If you have only one gadget, okay, you can leave our meeting. No problem. Okay, if you have two gadgets, you can stay. Okay, doon muna kayo pasok doon sa, sa GC ninyo. Okay, five minutes only. Five minutes only. Okay, kindly take a picture of the slides so I can, I know, I will be, I know, uh, posting a, a YouTube video presentation para makuha ninyo. Did you already take a pic? Yes, bro. Okay. Hi there. In this video, we'll be talking about typhoons and how they develop. You may have wondered, what is the difference between a typhoon, a hurricane, and a cyclone? Let's take a look at this map to answer that question. Hurricanes cyclones and typhoons are all types of tropical storms. They are all basically the same thing, but are given different names depending on where they appear. Hurricanes are tropical storms that form over the North Atlantic Ocean and Northeast Pacific. Cyclones are formed over the Leaders. South Pacific and Indian Ocean. And typhoons are formed over the Northwest Pacific. Okay, leaders, if you are done... Kindly raise your hand. Uh, uh. Ocean. Let's observe the path of these tropical storms. Notice that they never cross the equator, nor do they occur near it. Hurricanes and cyclones are born in waters at least 8 degrees north or south of the equator. The rotation of the Earth sends them off on a track that arcs away from the equator. This is because of the Coriolis effect. There's ad because it's a YouTube video. Okay, so it's okay. Since the Earth is roughly okay, Coriolis effect. Speed of its rotation is fastest at the equator and slowest at the poles. When air leaves the poles, its speed increases as it travels towards the. Again, leaders, if you are done, you can raise your hand. Veers and it doesn't go straight. This is the Coriolis effect. It is named after the French mathematician and physicist Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis. In this video, let us use the term typhoon since this is what we commonly call tropical storms here in the Philippines. You may also have wondered, why do typhoons have a name? Like the typhoons Yolanda, Roli, and Ulysses. Typhoons last a long time and are given names so they can be identified quickly. In most places, the first storm of a year will have a name beginning with A, and the next one gets a name beginning with B. So they are named in alphabetical order. Whether scientists hold meetings to decide on new names for the next year. Names of storms which cause a lot of damage, such as the Typhoon Yolanda, are never used again. So. How do typhoons form? How typhoons do typhoons start form? Off as tropical thunderstorms. The strong winds pull in moisture from the ocean. The thunderstorms convert the moisture into heat. The heat causes more air to flow to the center of the storm, causing evaporation of water. 
all the heat and air flow towards the eye, creating the typhoon. So that will be our next topic, dissecting Several typhoon. Several atmospheric ingredients must come together to favor the formation of a typhoon. These atmospheric conditions, if met, could cause a typhoon to form. A pre-existing low-level focus or disturbance, warm ocean water, low atmospheric stability, sufficient Coriolis force, humid mid-atmosphere and upper atmosphere divergence are all important factors for typhoon formation. These factors contribute to the tremendous amounts of heat energy transported from the tropics northwards to the higher latitudes. The typhoon is a large heat engine where great amounts of heat are produced from the process of latent heat of condensation. This occurs as water is evaporated from the ocean surface and condensed into cloud droplets. leaders, you done? If all of the preconditions are met, typhoon formation then becomes possible. There are several types of atmospheric disturbances that can cause a typhoon to develop. The most common mechanism to cause a typhoon to develop is the monsoon trough. This is an extension of the intertropical convergence zone where cyclonic spin has developed. The intertropical convergence zone is a zone of wind convergence of the northeast and southeast trade winds. This trade wind trough does not contain the spin to initiate typhoon development. Typhoons are caused mostly by the monsoon trough in six of the seven hurricane or typhoon formation basins of the world. Okay. Here is so an illustration. It's already five minutes. Anyway, uh, dissecting typhoon will be our next topic. Okay, so that will be discussed on our next session. So leaders, can I? Okay, leaders. Kapag usap na with the group, do you have your answer already? Can you present it now to the class? Presente. Okay na po. How about you, ano, Trisha? Okay na po. Okay. How about you, uh, Sirene? Ready na po. Okay. Very good. Okay. So, group number one, you are going uh, uh, to start presenting. Okay. Is Trisha, you good to present? Trisha? Wait po. Or? You need Sorry, the... na lang po. Ah, okay. So let's start with... Okay. Sirene, you are going to present the output of Trisha, right? Yes po. Okay. Teka. So I'm going to... My presentation first. Wait, just wait, just wait. I'm going to end my presentation first. Ah, you're, pre you're already presenting, right, na? Opo. Okay, sige. You present it to the class. Is this the output of your group or the uh, group of uh, Trisha? Group po nila, Trisha. Okay. Okay, Trish, you're good to represent your group. Yes, sir. You just have to mention every point. It's either in or out of the par. Okay. For points A, for example... Points B. Nak, are you there? Yes, we'll start off. 
Okay, you start now, Nak. You just have to mention it's in or out of the par. You just have to mention point A, in, point B, out, or in, in or out. <laughs> Seems that you have a problem now. Naririnig niyo po ba ako? Actually na, hindi. Naririnig niyo, Sahor? Naririnig po. Ano naririnig? Why is it that I am um, not getting any ano, audio in here? Are you speaking, Trish? Opo. Wait lang po. No, no. Don't unmute your mic na para marinig ka namin. Okay. So, Siren was already, is already presenting your your work naman eh. So, you just have to speak na lang. Siren. Yes. Okay. Okay, Sirene, will you present your work now? Let us, uh, putahan na lang natin si Trisha later on. Your group number three, Light, Sirene. Yes, po. So you present your work now, Nak. Okay. So, yun po. So, number one. 15 degree north and 138 deg 138 degree east is out of the par par okay number 2 19 degree north and 9 and 134 east is in of the par okay nine number 3 19 degree north and 117 degree east is out of the par Number four, 25 degree north and 119 degree east is out of the par. Okay. Magtutuloy na po si Janelle Cruz. Number yes, five, number five, 18 degrees north, then 127 degrees east is inside the par. Then yes. number six, 17 degrees north. Then 132 degrees east is inside the par. Okay. Next, 21 degrees north and 20, 124 degrees east is, in, is inside the par. And lastly, 23 degrees north and 118 degrees east is outside the par. Okay, very good. Okay, so at least, uh, did you find it hard to plot the track of the typhoon, Janelle? Hindi naman. Pakirepeat po po. Did you find it hard to track the uh, the the points? Hindi po. Hindi naman. Okay, very good. Okay, about uh, oh, let us proceed first with ano uh, the group of Rosette. Okay, please. Kita pa yung anak ko sa screen ko. Kita na po screen ko, sir? Yes, sir. Sige po. 15 degree north and 138 degree east. Out po siya. Dito po. Tapos, 19 okay. degree north and 134 degree east. 
in po. Ito po. 19 degree north and 117 degree east is out po. Nandito po siya. 25 degree north and 190 degree east is out po. 18 degree north and 127 degree east is in po. 17 degree north and 132 degree east is in po. 21 degree north and 124 degree east is in po. 23 degree north and 118 degree east is out po. Out. Okay, very good. Okay, so it seemed that you have the same answer with group of Cyrene. Okay, let us proceed with the group of Trish. Okay na ba? Can you present it already? Or... Kasi okay, na okay, okay. okay, Trish, again, okay, go. Number one, 15 degree north and 138 degree is, is out of Philippines area of responsibility. Then your number two, 19 degree north and 134 degree is, is in of Philippines area of responsibility. Number three, 19 19 degree north and 117 degree is is out of Philippines area of responsibility. Number four, 25 degree north and 119 degree is is out of Philippines area of responsibility. Si Demayo na pong magtutuloy sa next. Okay, proceed. Number, number five, 18 degrees north and 127 degrees is in of Philippines area of responsibility. Number six, 17 degrees north and 132 degrees east is in of Philippines area of responsibility. Number seven, 21 degrees north and 124 degrees east is in of Philippines area of responsibility. Number eight, 23 degrees north and 118 degrees east is out of Philippines area of responsibility. responsibility. Okay, very good. Well, it seems that both... Uh, of you group one two and three have the same answer so i guess you did find it easy to track a typhoon entering or exiting inside the philippine area of responsibility as you can see uh sahor ayan si sahor serious okay as you can see uh that's the based on the answer of your group does the typhoon hit a landmass? Does the typhoon hit a landmass? Yes. What? Yes. Okay. Does the typhoon, in what particular part or direction of the Philippines does the typhoon, okay, very good, Sahor, actually it hit a landmass. Okay. So in what particular part or direction if on the Philippines does the typhoon uh, Julina actually uh, make a landfall. Ma based on your answer, yes, Di Mayo. You are going to base it, okay? Wait, ha. I mag present lang ako. PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So this is the track of the typhoon. Okay, let us proceed first with this one. Okay, for number one, okay, that's outside the Philippine area of responsibility. Number two, it's inside. Okay, number three, it's outside again. Okay, then outside. Five is outside. Or sorry, it's inside the Philippine area of responsibility. Then number six, it's in. Okay, so we have uh, in for number seven. And outside the Philippine area of the responsibility for number eight. Okay, that's the track of Typhoon Julina. Okay, 
Sino ba yung tinanong ko kanina? As Sumagaysay? Is it Sumagaysay? Di Mayo po, sir. Di Mayo. Okay, Di Mayo. In what particular part or region of the Philippines does this particular typhoon Sir, pwede po pakiulit ng tanong. Jasmine. Ah, yes, Jasmine. Okay. Ah, hindi ako narinig. Okay. So, in what particular part or direction of the Philippines does this particular typhoon uh, hit or uh, has been affected? Philippines, sir? Yes. Basco po. Oh, Basco. What particular province is Basco uh, located? Province of? Yes, anyone? Province of? Batanes po. Am I presenting? Hindi po nakikita. Wala po. Ah, sorry. Naka-unping po sa kanila si. Sorry, can, can, there, is there someone presenting? Your screen is still visible to others. Your presentation. Anong gagawin ko rito? Naka-unpin. Uh, okay na po. Okay na? Yes po. Okay. Yes, am I presenting now? Yes, yes po. po. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hindi pala ako naka-present. Anyway, ayun. So, very good. That's Batanes. Kaya pala hindi nakasagot si Sirene kanina eh. Okay? So, very good. That's Batanes. Okay? So, that's the Philippine area of responsibility. Okay? So, are we familiar now with how to point or how to track a typhoon? Yes, Trisha. Trisha. About you, Sirene? Yes, po. Okay, very good. Okay, can you give yourself, all of you, okay, the three groups, a three claps? Okay, that's one, two, three for you. Okay, thank you so much, group one, two, and three for presenting your output. Okay, to proceed, okay. This is how we are going to study the track of tropical cyclone. Okay, so where did the tropical cyclones form? Okay, generally, tropical cyclone form in a water or in ocean. Okay, so what can you say about the temperature of the bodies of water in the vicinity of the Philippines? Is it warm or cold? Uh, Sonia? Sonia? Warm or cold? Warm po. Warm? Okay, very good. It is because as what I have mentioned earlier, we are located in a tropical region. So warm. So in what direction did the tropical cyclones move? What direction? You are going to base it on the uh, slide. What direction? East, west, north, south. North po. North? But it starts in what particular direction? Okay, it's moving northwest. North, then west. Okay? So in the case of Agaton, Yoyong, or they have, they have names, uh, uh, for uh, the picture has name of a typhoon. Yoyong and Waning, where did it die out? Near or land or in the middle of the ocean? Yoyong is the first, uh, the fourth picture. Okay, Agaton is in the first. Waning is the third. Did I out in the ocean or in the land mass? Yes, Jamaica. Jamaica. Wala si Jamaica. Janelle. In the ocean. Okay, in the ocean. Okay, there are instances, class that cyclone or typhoon die out in the land mass. Take note, when a typhoon hit a land mass, generally, it will weaken. 
because di ba marami meron tayong mga range mga bundok okay yung mountain ranges that we have we need typhoon heat inland mass it were weakened a tendency uh, others can be die out okay near land down near land or in the ocean actually that's in the ocean because it's outside okay so this is a simulation of hey, how a typhoon hits a land mass Okay, you familiar with signal number? Signal number one, ayan, signal number two, then signal number three. Okay, typhoon can also, even if it hit a landmass and it's weakened, okay, generally when it cross the ocean again, okay, it will going to generate moisture and it will again, okay, uh, kukuha uli siya ng lakas in the ocean. Okay, that's it. How a typhoon uh, track. Okay, so pag-asa actually revises the storm warning system. Okay, before, during our time, we only have four warning system or warning signal. For now, as of 2015, pag-asa revises it into five sig warning signal number. Okay, for signal number one, Okay, ako na magbabasa. It has a wind speed of 30 to 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, within 24 hours, that's within the next 24 hours. Signal number 2, 61 to 120. Uh, signal number 3 has 121 to 170. Signal number 4, 171 to 220. And signal number 5 is more than 220 kilometers per hour. Okay, so generally, typhoon can stay at around one to four days inside the Philippine area of responsibility. So, yun lang naman. Okay, so public storm warning signal. Okay, ito yung expected na mangyayari. If, if, far, uh, if a public storm warning signal hit a community. Okay, so there's very light or no damage in structure. Okay, for signal number two, Okay, so light to moderate damage in structure. It also had a uh, slight damage in vegetations. Okay, for signal number three, yan, we have heavy damage in and a moderate damage, medium risk structure for signal number three. And it also has a height wave. Okay, generally when Kuya Kim and Amang Tan reported it, diba, sabi na, Wave uh, can be at least 14 meters in height in the region of, uh, in this particular region. Diba? Ganun yun. Okay. So for signal number four, definitely it has a very heavy damage and uh, to medium risk structure. Okay. So that's signal number four. Okay. For number five, you are expected to have a widespread damage in a structure or in a vicinity. Okay, did you understand, Janelle? Yes, po. Okay, so that's the public storm warning signal for you. So what are you going to do uh, before, during, and after a typhoon? Okay, as a preventive measure, okay, generally we can plant mangroves, okay, yun yung mga ano natin, build a evacuation plan. In Montalban, we already have an evacuation plan. Lapit yan sa Tagumpay National High School. Okay, it's located Christine Bill, kung hindi ako nagkakamali. Okay, this avoid constructing on no-build zone. Definitely. Lalo na dun sa mga landslide-prone areas. Then formulate systematic evacuation and rescue plan. Okay, this is a the task of our national and local government. But before a typhoon, of course, you have to know your local emergency hotlines. Meron ba kayo sa bahay nito? Posted in your wall. Local emergency hotlines. Supposed to be dapat meron. Okay? Prepare your emergency survival kit. Of course, you should have this one. Okay? And monitor weather condition. Okay? Strengthen your house. Okay? We should have uh, a house that is can withstand heavy rain and heavy wind okay next is of course you have to evacuate if necessary okay during a typhoon okay it is important that we have to stay indoors 
Okay? Stay away from floods and coastal areas. Okay? Gather family. Mahirap na. Okay? Members and stay calm. Okay? Then, we have to stay in the highest portion of your house away from windows. Okay? Because typhoon, as what I have, we have mentioned earlier, okay, so it can uh, generate a lot of winds and rain. After a typhoon, of course, definitely we have to have uh, to eat food in prep a preparation for a parang cleaning activities natin. Okay, you have to drink, okay, clean water, okay. Thoroughly check your home. Of course, uh, when a typhoon hit, definitely it could alter some houses. Okay, participate in clean up drive activities. Okay, it's our it's our responsibility as a citizen. Minsan, di ba? When Montalban always uh, have this effect of a typhoon, lagi tayong may baha. Definitely, it could uh, minsan maramaputik pa yung bahay. Okay, take photos of properties covered by insurance. Okay, kung may insurance yung bahay, no, why not? Okay, that's uh, how we should prepare. Okay, before, during, and after a typhoon. Okay, this particular activity, okay, so you are going to make a poster. Okay, a poster. Okay, uh, ano to, uh, asynchronous activity. This will be uh, submitted next week. This will be Okay, you have to submit it in our Google Classroom. Okay, so a poster that, okay, na makikita natin yung things to do before, during, and after a typhoon. This, this is how you will be graded. Okay, we have 30% for the concept or the relevance of the theme. Creativity, 20%. Neatness, 20% design and layout, 20% originality, 10% a total of 100%. Again, this will be uh, to be submitted next week. You still have one week more to uh, concept, conceptualize your design. So hopefully, kayo ang gagawa ano, para mas, mas uh, makikita ko naman pag professional ang gumagawa nito. Okay? So... To be posted, or this criteria will be posted on your classroom after the class. Okay, dun yun rin ipapasa yung inyong output. Am I clear? Am I clear, Sirene? Yes, po. Okay, Bora. Yes, po. Okay, so criteria. So the materials, okay, you can use anything as long as you are going to put it on an Oslo paper. Okay? So, nagigets, Janelle? Apo. Okay. So, to proceed. Okay. To proceed. How do pag-asa name typhoons in the Philippines? Okay. The pag-asa naming scheme for Philippine use contains four lists, each containing 25 names. Arranged in alphabetical order, every typhoon season begins with the first name in the assigned list and the rolls of names are each reused Take note every four years, okay? So as you can see in your screen, okay, as you can see in your screen, 2009, the, the name of the typhoon will be used every four years. So 2021 today, so expect another same set of names by 2024, okay? Sorry, 25 pala, that's 25. But again, there are typhoon that are severely uh, affected our country. Like for example, Yolanda, okay, Undoy, okay, generally pag-asa, okay, tinatanggal na nila sa list yan and uh, ang tawag dito, pinapalitan. In order for us not to, you know, uh, reminisce the effect of a typhoon. Okay, so usually uh, we are visited by an average of 20 typhoons every year. Average only, but it varies. Sometimes uh, there are years that more than 20 or less than 20. It still varies. Okay, as what I have mentioned again, typhoon usually stays in the park for about one to four days. Okay, 
So, ito yon. Okay, next. Okay, so 2021. Okay, these are the names of the typhoon that will be named if it enters the park to, uh, in this particular year. Auring, Bising, Krising, Dante, Emong. Okay, so Yasmin, the second to the last, and Yolanda. Asuraida, Asuraida. Hopefully naman, hindi tayo aabot sa Zay. Ano? Okay, next. Why is it important to give a name on ty typhoon? Okay, tropical storm like hurricanes, cyclones, or typhoons last a long time and are given names. So scientists can keep track of them. They used to be tracked by the year they happened, but in some places, there can be 100 storms in 12 months. So names make them much easier for experts to tell them apart. Okay, so activity six, what I can do. Okay, you can raise your hand. We are moving to the last part of our lesson. Okay, learning nyo. Tingnan natin kung natuto kayo as we have discussed. Okay, choose or trace the letter that corresponds to the correct answer. You can raise your hand again if you have, if you know the answer. Number one, it is an intense tropical storm that originates in an overwhelmed tropical ocean. Is it A, typhoon, B, storm, C, I wall, D, tsunami? Yes, Ibora. I wall. I wall? Is it I wall? Another hand? Tai. An intense tropical storm that originates in an overwhelmed tropical ocean. Yes, Dimayo. Okay, very good. That's typhoon. Okay, number two. A weather disturbance that originates in the Indian Ocean is called blank. Typhoon, willy willy, cyclone, or hurricane. Yes, another hand. Okay, Ibora, you're raising your hand again. Cyclone, po. Cyclone, very good. Okay. How about hurricane? In what particular uh, region that does it originated? Hurricane. Yes. Yes. Rosette. Sonia. Atlantic, po. Okay, that's Atlantic Ocean. Very good. At least you have learned. Number three. True or false? The number of typhoons that enter the park varies each year. Suliba. True po. Very good. That's good. With a minimum of how many? Tarnate. One to four. No, typhoona. The number of typhoons, not the number of days. Yes? Sumagaysay. Twenty. Okay, very good. That's twenty. Tama ka tayo natin, one to four days it stays in the park. Uh, it's a, it has a minimum of one to four days. Four, how long does a tropical cyclone typically last? Sinagot natin ni tayo natin. Yes, Ibora. One to four days. Okay, that's one to four days. Okay, that's letter A. Okay, last, true or false, Pag-asa stands for Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical Astronomical Services Agency. True or false? Caranto. False po, sir. Okay. What is the false in that particular uh, uh, acronym? Yung agency po. Agency. agency. Administration is... po. Then, ah, wala pong N. Geophysical okay, and Astronomical. Okay. Very good. That's administration supposed to be. False. Okay. That. Okay, last. Why does Pag-asa regularly monitor the typhoon if it is within par? Bakit kaya? Yes, sumagaysay. To be able to inform us so that we can get ready po. Okay, very good. That's actually as what we have discussed earlier in order for us to be prepared. Okay, and to be able to know uh, the effect. Or the strength of a typhoon. Okay, number two. What should you do before, during, and after a typhoon? Just a brief answer for this one. Di Mayo. Remain calm. Stay in How about before? Before, can you give me one? 
Okay? During, yes, start natin. Stay away from floods and coastal areas. Okay, very good. After, how about after Diaz? Drink and eat food prepared with clean water. Okay, very good. Okay, that's how you do, uh, that's what you should do before, during, and after a typhoon. Okay, did you learn something today, Janelle? Yes, po. How about you, Sumagaysay? Yes, po. Ibora. Okay, yes. Okay, so that concludes our lesson for today. So hopefully you have learned something today. Okay, to end, okay, we have this particular quote from Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Okay, so meaning to say, if you want to change the world, begin it with changing yourself. Educate yourself and the world will help you achieve your dreams. Okay, so any question for the topic that we have discussed? Earl. None. How about you, group leaders? Uh, Rosette. Wala naman na po. Tarnate. Wala naman po. Trisha. Wala naman po. Okay, so kung wala na, that would be all for today. Thank you so much for participating. Okay, so bigyan naman natin ng palakpak yung mga sarili natin for today. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, 8 Garnet, for your cooperation. That would be all for today. Thank you.